Growing up, I didn't have my own computer, it was always shared, and it was placed in a space where my siblings and I took turns using it for whatever reason. So you can imagine how nasty and crusty the keyboard and mouse were when placed in the hands of three kids. So many greasy keys. It wasn't until I hit around high school that I had my own real personal computer, a laptop, a hand-me-down that my mom wasn't using anymore. It wasn't the best, but I used it and I used it till it died. I mean it, like the thing wouldn't charge anymore, the chassis was falling apart, the trackpad was all scuffed up, bad memories. But used computers can also be great, especially if the previous owner took care of it well. It can also be a lot less expensive to renew an old machine rather than just buy a brand new one. This is an ASUS laptop that my girlfriend's older brother isn't using anymore. I asked him if it was okay to give this to my little brother who needed a computer for school. So quick shout out to him. Thanks, Tyler. And to be honest with you, this is my first DIY project with a laptop. So I'm new to this and I hope it inspires other people to try new things as well when it comes to tinkering with their old tech. So before I hand this machine over to my brother, I wanna show you guys how a quick hard drive swap and some light cleaning can really make this machine feel like new. Let's get started. So let's first talk about the things that's inside the machine. It's a 15 inch laptop with an Intel i7-4500U, which is actually a pretty decent processor, even despite how old it is. And it has Intel HD 4400 graphics, eight gigabytes of RAM, a one terabyte hard drive, and the laptop has a battery life of roughly three hours, probably because the battery's old. And it also has a 1366 by 768 display, which isn't the best, but it'll do for my brother's schoolwork. The machine itself has some cosmetic wear and tear, but other than that, the laptop's in good shape with no major problems. First the internal hard drive this thing it has to go this thing is slow it takes over a minute to boot up into windows i'd rather wait two minutes for a hot pocket at least i'm getting something out of it so we'll shove this cheap 25 dollar 240 gig ssd from micro center into the machine second there's some stickers tacky branding and some grime on the machine that i want to clean up to make the machine look better overall so sticker removal and light cleaning are definitely going to happen now we want to replace the hard drive with an ssd but since on the hard drive there's data belonging to my girlfriend's brother we can't wipe it or clone it because we don't want his data and we don't want to kill his data either. So instead, I loaded a Windows 10 installation file onto a flash drive. Replacing the hard drive was actually pretty easy. Remove the screws on the back of the machine and the hard drive was then clearly exposed. Most machines will be pretty easy upgrade unless you got machines that have a lot of soldering done or everything soldered together, such as Microsoft Surface or Apple's MacBooks. Sorry guys. Anyway, just another screw removed and the hard drive just easily slides out. We then have to unscrew the old hard drive from its tray and replace it with our SSD. Then plug the SSD back in, put on the back cover of the laptop and voila, a masterpiece. From there, I tried installing Windows through the flash drive I made, but they all failed because I was stupid. If you're installing Windows, it's best to use a USB 2.0 port rather than a 3.0 port because specifically on this machine and some other machines, USB 3.0 won't let you install it properly and you'll run into some errors. After I went through all that trouble, it booted just fine into Windows 10 and I spent around an hour downloading different drivers and software updates for the machine. And now the laptop runs great. It boots way faster than it did before and simple tasks are so much more snappy. I think it was well worth it. But now how comparable is this machine to a new machine that you can buy now. Well, this machine has similar specs and performance to machines that you'll find now around the $300 to $400 price range. But some of those machines don't have SSDs or don't have SSDs this large. All we really did was spend $25 to upgrade its SSD, remove all the bloatware with a clean install, and clean the machine itself to make it look more appealing aesthetically as well as run better performance-wise. I'm sure my brother will enjoy using this machine now. Anyway, I hope this inspires people to take a second glance at news electronics and realize that some news electronics out there are still very much usable. All they require is a little bit of tinkering. Anyway, guys, what do you think? Do you mind doing your own upgrades? Do you mind using old things if it means you get the same performance for much less? Leave all that down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And well, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.